G'day guys, welcome back. Welcome to Pouring Your Heart Out. Excuse the kookaburras <laughs> behind me. Well, not behind me, but they're outside. They're going, feed me, Julie. I'm hungry. But I want to come and do a video. Now, I want to use my lizard mold again for you. And I'm still working on my actual mold, so I don't have it <clears throat> available for sale at the moment, but I'm getting closer. It's just not 100% on how I want it just yet. So I'm going to go again today. Now, last time I did kind of green tones. This time I want to go goldy tones. So I've got the Let's Resin Intense Chameleon Powders. This pack. And from that pack, I have chosen, I have chosen gold and maple. So I'm going to see how those two go together today. So I'll move them out of the way. So the first thing I need to do is get a dusting. I think I might do the maple sort of down his back and then do the gold elsewhere. Gosh, those kookaburras are noisy today, aren't they? Can you hear them? They're very noisy. I should really go and feed them, but, you know, I've got other things I want to do. <laughs> now, I'm just following the shape of its body here, of its belly. I don't know if you can even hear them or not, but they're certainly going off this morning. <clears throat> They've got babies with them. There's two babies this year. Normally only get one baby, but we've got two babies this year. So the babies are out of the nest now, and uh, the parents are bringing them to get breakfast. <laughs> All right, I'm going to go around into that little tail there. <clears throat> I might stop there and just do the the tip in gold. I'll do the sides of the tail in gold and I'll just do that little tip in gold as well. All right, now I want to go in here. I want to do the head. I'm going to do the head in gold as well. Now, <clears throat> sometimes you might get a mold that's got like a little tear on it like that. It's very common if, if you have to go like right in because the head goes right into here. So it happens when you unmold and then it's easier for you to unmold your mold. So don't be too concerned if you get a little tear on, on your mold. It's just how it is. See, I'm trying to get in there. All right, I just sort of held it up next to my body and got way down in there because I couldn't do it properly with, couldn't see properly, so I just held it up there. Anyway, that's that one done. And now I just clean off my little brush between colours. Just on a piece of paper towel. Or you could just change brushes if you've got a couple of brushes and then, you know, clean that one later. That'll do. Okay, now the gold looks kind of a greeny gold in there, but this is kind of like an orangish gold, and then we've got like a greenish gold here. So I think they might work nicely together. So just open the mold like that, push your color into the sides. It doesn't matter if you sort of go over the top of the other one because it's not going to be visible. Only the bottom or the first colour that you put down that's touching the silicone is going to be visible. Oh gosh, you're making a mess there. Do that side. In there. Now this knee goes quite a long way in right back to here
right I have got my black resin I'm using the midnight black from La Res. and I've mixed up the platinum 360 plus resin I've done 85 grams of A and 37 grams of B which gives me 122 grams which is about four ounces so I'll just let that flow in you're better off just sort of staying in one area rather than sort of pour into the foot and the foot and the tail I mean I'll, I'll put a little bit in later but just pour in and let the resin find its own way that way it kind of goes into all the little nooks and crannies and hopefully it doesn't get too many bubbles just give the head a bit of a squeeze there now I'm going to pour this into a little paper cup it's just I just find it so much easier when you can pinch the cup if you need to do a small area it's too hard trying to pour out of the big paper cups so I can make a little spout like that and just go into those little toes there the same over here there are only little toes you need to just be patient let the resin flow in you can go in with a toothpick afterwards and just push the uh, the resin into the ends of the toes if the resin hasn't gone already now the platinum 360 plus isn't really a deep pour resin but I find I can pour the lizard whoops <laughs> I've put a bit much in there oh gosh because um, I've actually also used the 360 plus on my octopus you know my big octopus well it's not mine but I've done it a few times and um, it does flash cure in the head of the octopus because the head's like that deep but it's been fine so I'll just use it in my lizard as well making a mess all right now little these little it was a micro brush it had a little cotton bud thing on the end but it's fallen off so but it's it's still good to um, just use for pushing resin into toes or small areas like that because not as sharp as a toothpick or cocktail stick wherever depends on where you're from doesn't it as to what you call it a toothpick or a cocktail stick they serve both purposes those little pointy sticks make sure you push into each little end of the toe so that you don't get a bubble caught into the toe there as well We'll do these little toes as well. She need a little bit more resin. But yeah, just go slow. You saw me overflow the tail there because I was pouring a bit too quick. There's no harm done. Just wipes it up again with the baby wipe. It's not a drama. Hopefully this will be pretty. I'm just trying to reduce the amount of um, silicone that I'm, I'm using for this mold so it's a little bit more cost effective for everybody. Um, if I can get the mold under 500 grams I can ship it in the you know up to 500 grams but if it goes over 500 grams like even if it's 520 grams then I have to go into the next um, sort of allotted weight which is 500 grams to one kilo and it's it's much more expensive to post so I'm trying to just get the the silicone down to under 500 grams for everybody So bear with me, hopefully it won't be too much longer and I'll be able to list it for sale for you. My little bearded dragon or lizard, <laughs> but it's a bearded dragon, type of lizard. All right, so that's pretty much it. I'm, I'm just going to sort of fiddle a little bit more and see if I can get a tiny bit more in. 
into the mould, fill it up a little bit more. But I will see you later on this afternoon because I can unmold this in like eight hours. So yay! <laughs> I love that about the 360 plus. All right, see you soon. Right. Um, it's still a bit soft on the tail. The middle flashed cured. It was really hot, so <laughs> which I knew was going to happen. Um, I do want to be able to kind of position him a little bit. So I'm going to see if I can get him out. Hopefully I can. I mean, the head and the body will be set. It's just It's just the fingers and toes and the tail that's going to be still soft so I'll have to be really careful with it but like I said I do want to try and position him a little bit so with a mold that's sort of gone underneath in the head like that you're better off getting like leaving it for last and then you can just slide it out just going to see if I can actually get this tail out or otherwise I'm gonna have to come back in another hour or so because <laughs> I don't want to destroy it but I do want to shape it Ooh. carefully 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 <gasps> I'm all hot now hot and bothered should have put my air conditioner on I wasn't planning on coming in all right here we go so the tail as you can see is still really quite soft He's got to get his knees out like that. Oh, so far, so good. Stay there, tail. Don't break off. Don't break off. Don't break off. Okay. <gasps> getting it. Getting it. Getting it. Feet are okay. Toes are okay. Hands okay. Hands okay. Come on, tail. You can do it. All right. Here we go. Last little bit. Ooh. He's out. He's out. Oh, look, you guys. So pretty. It's not a like a shiny mold. It's not a super shiny mold, which is fine. I'm not after a super shiny mold. Now, that head is... I wanted to try and um, put his head down a little bit. So, I'm going to... I'm going to have to try and like heat it a little bit, but there he is. So cool, isn't he? <laughs> All right, I need to put him down flat somewhere so that his little tail will cure. But if you need to like bend something, then do it while, you know, it's still soft. If you want his tail to be in a certain way. Then just do it while it's still soft. I think I want it like that. All right. Um, I'm going to do some fiddling around with him. And I'll take some photos of him shortly for you. So that you can have a little look and see what he's looking like. It's a bit hard here on, on, my, oops, on my work table with all the ring lights. It's a bit glary. All right, I will try and I'll take some good photos for you, and um, I'll show you shortly. <laughs> All right, thanks for watching, everyone. See you real soon for the next video. Take care. Bye for now.